Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a few flower vases in which you can plant live plants or artificial ones. I'll be using scrap wood and some inexpensive easily available materials for this project. These are ideas that any beginner or a weekend enthusiast can try. I'll be using a lot of power tools in this video but please do not be intimidated. I have them so I use them but you can achieve similar results or even better by using hand tools. Other than that, I'm Josh and you're watching my DIY channel with your Epo. Before we start, let me promote my own very channel for 10 seconds. I've made a lot of random videos like woodworking, blacksmithing, gardening, making music instruments, science experiments, toys. I'm sure there is something for your liking. So please go ahead and click on that subscribe icon and gently press on the bell icon too so that you can get notifications on whenever I upload new videos. For this project, let's start with something really basic. Let's get to it. This is a plank of wood salvaged from a pallet and these are PVC clips. This clip accommodates 3 quarter inch PVC pipes. These clips are used to hold PVC pipes on the wall. The vase is going to be these large sized test tubes which are 3 quarter inch as well. PVC pipes can be pressed hard on this clip and they snap into their place. The same cannot be done with a glass test tube. The bottom of the test tube is smooth and rounded and hence can be slid into the clips. The plank was measured, marked and cut to the desired size. No measurements here cause I am improvising as I move along. I'll be making two types of vase here. One is going to be a single tube and the other with multiple tubes. The PVC clips were not available in black so a coat of black spray paint should be able to get me the look I desire. Once the paint is dry, all we need to do is screw these clips in place. Also note that these clips can be attached to one another in series with the provided slots. I prefer having some space between them so I fix them a little apart. Once the clips are fixed, the tubes can be slid in its place. I did that for the other one too. Once done, the tubes can be removed and this setup can be hung or screwed on the walls. We can insert the tubes, fill it with water and place a stem of money plant. Some of you might say that there is not much of space for the root which is true but the plants which get enough nutrition don't develop bigger roots and can be occasionally trimmed as well. Now let us try and make a tabletop version of the same idea using these test tubes. Again we take a plank which is square and without a bow then I cut it into 4 pieces. The corners were cut with a 45 degree bevel. What I'm making here is nothing but a box without a top and a bottom. A simple butt joint can work as well but a 45 degree bevel in this case makes a massive difference in the look. Marks were made for the pilot holes wide apart to accommodate 3 test tubes of 3 quarter inch. After making the holes all the pieces were sanded to clear the splinters. Now this is a technique I've seen in a lot of woodworking videos. This is the first time I'm trying it out so I'll shut up for a while and you can see it for yourself. I let the box dry for 24 hours. Then I went with the usual drill of sanding and chamfering out the edges. Once I was happy with the results, it was time for oiling the wood. The vase is almost complete, let us add some life into it, quite literally. Water is life. Let us add a few stems of money plants and we are done.
For the third vase, I'll be using a plank of wood, a twig and a coconut shell. The twig will be placed on the plank and hence a suitable hole needs to be drilled on the plank. It doesn't really matter if the hole is not exactly the same size of the twig's base. We can reshape the twig according to the hole we have made on the plank. The plank was sanded as usual and I chamfered the edges as well. The coconut shell needs to be sanded too. This shell will be hung from the twig. I am planning to make three holes on the shell. The shell is almost round so I trace the shape of the shell on a paper and mark the placement for the holes. Once all of the preparation was completed, the twig was inserted into the hole and glued onto it. I'm using a fishing line to tie the coconut shell and suspend it from the twig. The coconut shell was then filled with potting mix All that is left is to get some plants in there and I am going with some decorative indoor plants. To sum up this video, I made 3 flower vases for which I use scrap wood and some easily available material. A lot of people, they grow money plants in bottles, I just took it a notch further or maybe even complicated the whole thing in the process. Let me know what you think, be frank and let me know what is the idea that you liked or disliked or which is the one that you will try. You've been here for so long, thanks for watching. Now I could not accommodate all of the ideas into one single video so I'll post the rest in the next video. I'll be back soon and until then, bye.